Pinpoint Weather on NBC5 News is brought to you by the Cow Creek Umpqua Tribe. Hey, welcome back in NBC5. Seeing a little bit of smoke out there this morning. Of course, the Salt Creek fire started yesterday here in Jackson County. Seeing a little bit of that smoke out there as we look at uh, towards the Roxanne, uh, Roxanne on uh, on the Manor Cam. Now, if you are getting outdoors right now, it is the best time to do so. Continue this uh, for the next couple of hours before it gets hot. Best time to maybe go for that morning walk or run and also to take your dog for maybe a little bit longer of a walk through the morning and evening hours. Don't do that during the heat of the day. It could burn their paws very quickly. Again, so getting the latest on some of these fires, the Shelly fire estimated uh, over 3300 uh, 3, feet. Uh, and uh, of course, that's in Siskiyou County. Uh, and this has really blossomed just over the last couple of days with the hot, dry conditions. We've also been dealing with a bit more wind for the area, and we've known that We've had the limit of the uh, or the uh, ability for these fires to start and spread very quickly, and that's what we're seeing more of. Of course, Salt Creek uh, fire started yesterday here in Jackson County. I actually took this photo yesterday driving home. It was not there whenever I was going up to Lost Creek Lake, but driving home, that thing really started going off. Estimated around 1,500 acres. Of course, this is uh, to the east of Eagle Point, uh, and uh, looking at some of the evacuation warnings and evacuation orders. This is for the fire in Siskiyou County, the Shelley fire. Uh, of course, these are the kind of the be, uh, go now situations that occurred yesterday. A lot of these locations, if you are within those districts, make sure you are out of there or plan uh, to be ready at a moment's notice. And we see that here in Jackson County, but it's only the be ready zones 316, 317, 319 and 321 with the Salt Creek fire. Nothing be set or be go, but for those zones, make sure you are ready for a moment's notice, especially because of this hot temperatures expected through this week. Lots of sunshine and we will be getting a bit more wind as we're getting through the week as as well. But you look at the end of the week. It's not as hot. We get a small drop off in temperatures, kind of returning to some lower uh, triple digits instead of the 110 plus degree temperatures we've had over the weekend. Still well above the seasonal average for this time of year. If we make it all the way through Saturday, we will tie the longest consecutive run with 100 plus degree temperatures in Medford, which is 10. We potentially could break that if we stay uh, Get up to 100 degrees on Sunday. We're expecting upper 90s in our eastern counties throughout this week. Very hot temperatures, very dry conditions. Make sure you are staying vigilant, folks, with anything that could start a fire. Wind speed's not going to be all that strong today, but it doesn't take much. Again, just a little bit of a breeze. Those fires can quickly uh, spread and over a large area like we saw yesterday. Tuesday, Wednesday, we are going to be getting a bit more wind. And here here is the smoke outlook. This one is the latest one for the uh, Salt Lake uh, Salt Lake fire and the Shelley fire. We see that covering portions of J uh, Jackson County and down into Siskiyou County as well. This one just now updated this hour and you're seeing that pushing further south and southeast and look at it just cover into Northern California and across our eastern counties as we're getting through the next couple of days. It looks to be a little bit clearer towards the coastline going up towards Roseburg because we have that northwest wind pushing that smoke to the south and southeast. So smoke and haze expected with some hot temperatures through this week, triple digits, morning lows in the 60s, and again, a bit more wind Tuesday, Wednesday, and going into the weekend. There is a low potential, but still a chance of some isolated showers and storms by the end of this week in our eastern counties. The main threat from this, of course, is going to be any additional lightning. Breezy afternoons and hot temperatures for Northern California will likely continue some new records here for the next couple of days. And if you want to get out of the heat, the coast will be in the 60s and 70s through this week, but more wind expected by Wednesday.